Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is dyspareunia and how is it associated with infertility? It sounds like a very big word, it's a mouthful, but basically it refers to painful intercourse. If you're not able to have intercourse without experiencing pain, it is termed as dyspareunia. Let's try to understand what the causes are and how is it that we can, um, you know, look at the treatment. Well, there are a lot of causes. It could be due to um, low lubrication, which could be because of uh, uh, short foreplay, you're not able to enjoy intercourse, you're not able to enjoy the sexual activity itself, then the area becomes dry and uh, the couple is not able to have intercourse, which could be one of the most commonly uh, occurring uh, cause and when we counsel the patient, we bring it to their notice, they are able to work on it and better their sexual activity. Next could be injury, you could have had a previous surgery or you could have had uh, some kind of an infection, you could have had uh, some treatment uh, done, you know, like a per speculum examination like a PV uh, or a pap smear or some things like that which could have caused very minor irritation or injury which could be leading to painful intercourse. So it's very temporary and if you show it to your gynecologist she could also confirm this and let it go, let it uh, heal on its own. There could be an infection like a urinary tract infection which could be causing pain during intercourse. It could be an inflammation which could be again coming from infection itself which could be causing pain during intercourse. So these are the causes. Then there could be endometriosis. Uh, depending on the stage of uh, endometriosis, the severity increases and associated with it is pain during intercourse. So it's a very, very painful issue for a woman with endometriosis to have intercourse and it is very painful. So it could be just at the time of uh, intercourse or after intercourse as well or during too. So you need to identify when the pain is uh, occurring so that you can uh, clearly understand. Then there are other causes too, like you could have uh, um, some uh, uterine fibroids, which could be very big in size, which is why there could be a distortion to the uterus while having intercourse, which is why the pain is occurring. There could be polyps inside the uterus, you know, big polyps, which is why the pain is uh, happening. So these are a few causes uh, which are leading to pain during intercourse. Now, could there be other reasons? Yes, there could be uh, other reasons like genetic uh, congenital abnormalities like the uterus could have a different shape, could have a small shape like the cervix or the opening to the uterus uh, could not be present. Maybe the vagina is not present properly or it is uh, dysfunctional. So, a lot of congenital problems are also seen in women and they need to be examined physically to rule out these physical issues or an ultrasound is performed to rule these out. Now, other than all these medical and clinical uh, issues that I have mentioned, there lies a very big factor that we don't often talk about. Emotional reasons. Emotional reasons are very, very important to talk about, which could be leading to depression or stress or lack of interest in sexual activity, which is why the brain could be associating it with pain. There could be a childhood trauma, there could be childhood sexual abuse, there could be some episode which is uh, causing emotional trauma and therefore uh, sexual activity in that person or interest of sexual activity is decreased in that person. This is a very important uh, aspect of dyspareunia that we need to discuss if you are open if you are honest if you confide and confess to your doctor about your problems they try to understand where the root cause is and what treatment options work best for you if you want to understand more if you want to uh, if you experience dyspareunia you would like to confide and discuss how to go about uh, reducing the pain during intercourse please feel free to come and confide to us Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.